Fellow Sierra Leoneans, good morning. This na Dr. Sylvia Olainka Blyden and today August 17th, 2023. This na a live Facebook video we will call video number 106. Una we the listener na WhatsApp, this na audio number 106. Today, I don't come back again for talk to Una. Una will they watch me on Facebook. Una see the address properly inside my red APC colors. It deliberate. Because today, I can't talk about some history, some politics, and some law. But most of them, really, na a message for the All People's Congress. Others really not themselves could benefit. But this is also a way for people to also know. That's what I can tell you. I say, oh, Sylvia, I don't left APC. Not the true. I don't left APC. I didn't have APC. Nobody never will pull me in APC. Now we get APC. And the struggles for APC, we did inside it with the struggle. For make sure, say, the APC, where will forefathers them form, where they believe in, where they struggle for, now in supposed for exist. Not that APC were a faction of terrorists, Jihadists, they don't hijack the APC, they not to the APC where we know. The APC where we know, Osai or why live forever. Now we own APC than they. So the struggle for the APC, they continue. And I don't mind me dogs them, the early morning, um, very early in the morning. So when I just ignore the sounds within the back. But um, on a more serious note today, we well, can talk about three issues. The first one, we well, talk about the laws of Sierra Leone when the rogue you per election. What in the laws of Sierra Leone say for happen? When the rogue you per election? What in the laws say for happen? The second thing we well, can talk about are the powers, immunities of a sitting member of parliament as against a designated member of parliament will not take in seat and not taking oath the parliament yet and then the last thing we we'll talk about this morning now about the history of boycotts in sierra leone and why make some of we go eventually get for file papers now law court for save the all people's congress from waiting the jihadist faction of the APC want for land will party into. So this morning, I can't spend time for talk to Una inside this audio. Now, before I go into the actual audio message, I want those of Una where they feel so disappointed right now at the battle that they see as betrayal from the de facto leadership. I want to know for no, so we don't go through all of this over three years ago. I watch one of my sister way, now one person way, almost any audio way me the pull, it can cost me because I mean they criticize the bad leadership in the APC. I watch him, he pull a video then there, he they blow mind. The exact same thing they want me to talk, now he they talk now. Waiting on they go through right now, I don't go through them. Betrayal, disappointment, I went through it. Three years ago, when I was abandoned, when I realized, say, the leadership of the APC is compromised, it don't sell game. It like what we do, then why they don't sell game. So that now, Una, they see them, but maybe don't see them long ago. So I relate to Una, they feel them for Una. But I know, say, in the struggles of the APC, we will eventually understand how we will able to come together for rescue this party from the hands of the jihadist faction. We don't sell we party out. All we can go tell you now is that oh Sylvia, it defend Fatima Mother Bio, it defend First Lady, but that is not a crime. You can go across party lines for defend somebody we deserve them, for protect somebody we deserve them. Not a crime. But today I want to know for no say that disappointment we na they feel. Most of na they reach out to me now. Some of na they apologize to me. It's okay. I went through it. I know it's not the feel right now. It's disappointing. 
betrayal, and I said, I saw it. I saw all of this coming, and I knew it was going to come. 